everyone, Crydax here. Welcome to a little bit of a different episode than normal. We are going to be looking over the vanilla community server that uh, I started for my Discord peeps and everyone else that wanted to join. Uh, so this is vanilla with just a couple tiny mods to add a tiny bit of quality of life, but, you know, like squeak through, but really nothing big. Um, and I didn't really play on this one very much at all. I think only like an hour maybe total for the whole thing. So I am going to go ahead and explore this base and see what people did. Clearly they got to the end of the tech tree. Uh, so something went right. And we're going to see uh, what happens. Oh, look, there's some uh, text. Let's see. I think I can hit players. And we can see everyone that's played on this server. So credit to all of them for this base uh for everyone here on twitch right now this is not live this is just single player i'm just reviewing the map that the community server ended on and then we're going to start the angel bobs server right after this so it does look like um we got some missing things lamps missing lamps got some trains definitely some uh turret walls Okay, so that never got built, but that was going to be a nice, nice wall of lasers. This looks like it was just kind of a hold in place for now type of defense. And then the real one was coming later. Oh, got some biters dead over there. So, some nice trains around here, but let's kind of start with what looks to be the center of the base, which is where I'm currently standing. So I think this is where... Most of it all started. Um, oh, you know, I should... Can I force daytime in the editor? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll just explore this way because it's a little a little easier. Um, so this is some sort of bus, I guess, that didn't end up going anywhere. But there's plastic coming in. Lots of copper. That copper is going to make circuits as it does in vanilla lots of green circuits over you you can see the old wall is still here inside the base guess that never quite got deconstructed because all the way out here there's a new wall it, so the old wall doesn't have to be there anymore i guess so yeah this looks pretty good got lots of purple science got lots of blue science here's all the engines So this looks to be the main bus, as it were, and these train stops are science, stone, iron, copper, steel, plastic. Okay, cool. So then that comes up here. There's all the iron and steel breaking off. Circuits are being made over here, and then belted back to the right. Okay, cool. I kind of like this, like, belt on both sides design. It does prevent uh, expanding it later, but if you plan ahead, that works out pretty well. We got some belt weaving here. Bi-directional. Yellows and reds, that's kind of cool. Um... I personally don't do belt weaving because if someone takes an upgrade planner and goes over everything, you're screwed. <laughs> um, so I don't know if belt weaving on a community server is a great idea because it's very, very likely to get screwed up at some point on accident. But it is cool. Um, let's see. Here are the furnaces and the rails for the purple science. And then here's modules. Okay, so modules, what even go in again? Just the two colors in vanilla? Yeah, just the two colors. What's up, Dave? What's up, Toby? Flying robot frames for the yellow science. Yep, low density structure always takes a lot of space. Here's some military science just because you need a little bit. And then where are the blue chips? Am I missing blue circuits? Uh, looks like I am. Where are these coming from? 
So the blue circuits are coming from all the way down here. Aha, there's the blue circuit factory. I'm imagining these are all connected. So these greens are mainly just for these reds and these reds are for these blues. And then it looks like here's kind of the rest of the main production for things like bots, artillery, ammo, radars, batteries, the bot-based mall for all the things the base requires, it looks like. Cool. There's a bunch of copper going this way. Wait, which way is this copper going? The game is paused. How do I unpause the game? Okay, the belt's going that way. Um, it is weird that the game's paused. I don't know how to actually undo that. Oh, there we go. Play. Um, okay, so that's kind of the, the bulk of the base, it looks like. And then that all feeds into the sciences, which come down this way into the labs which feed each other and then this is it looks like the silo everything seems to be doing okay except for the rocket control units those are hurting so speed one modules i guess are the are the ones hurting the most it looks like uh rocket control units never really got crafted to a high rate so that probably would have been something next on the list and then train-wise, we got, um, that one's on manual. So starter steel export, starter steel import, a depot, circuit condition, interesting. I don't know exactly how the circuits work. We could try to figure that out. So... Some signals there. Questionable. Don't know exactly what's going on with these two. But, you know, I, I can't knock it till I've tried it, right? Um, so what are these called? So circuit production, iron import, circuit production, copper import, circuit production, plastic import. Cool. I like the um, accumulators and panels in between the rails. That's cool. Ah, uh, the stackers from a book. Gotcha. Now, this is cool. I like the alternating um, furnaces. I've never seen this design before. It looks really cool on the on the map. The map view here. Hey, Mathis, thanks for the follow. Yeah, it's extremely dense, which is cool. There's, like, literally not a wasted square. So that's very pleasing. Um... I think this was this was up pretty early in the game as a smelting. So, you know, iron ore comes in and iron plates go out and the uh, trains pick it up. These are all stacked and ready to go in, looks like. Okay, so I need to check out these depots. Where are the depots? Because they're all scheduled to go to depot. Where is depot? Here we are. This is all the depot. Um, okay, so these have all the same name. They're connected on a send to train thing. They all have a train load of one. And then they're connected to the green network. What does the green network do, I wonder? Because a lot of the trains had a condition of like circuit iron plate greater than or equal to 32k and five seconds has passed so what does that mean exactly so i'm imagining this is the need for is there some sort of inverter on this how is this working
Hmm. How does this work? So, you want the circuit... You want iron to be greater than or equal to 32k, but iron... Is this green connected out at all? No. Only when there is enough iron in the export stations, they are allowed to drive. But the, the weight condition is at the depot. So at the depot, it would need the green signal to be greater than a certain amount. And so then this green signal, I guess, is connected to what? Is this connected up to all the export stations and only the export stations? So one of them has to have at least that much. Interesting. So then I guess I still don't quite fully understand. Does it go to the one? How does it know which one to go to? Has it know which export station to go to? Like this one only goes here. There is only one export station for each good. Is that what you're saying? Surely there's more. How could you ever what if you needed a second copper mine? Is it is the is this system not set up for that? I guess. Gotcha, it's not set up for that. Okay, so you basically have to only have one copper mine at a time. Because if you had another one and named it the same as this, it could end up going to this station when it's the other station that has enough copper. Gotcha. Hey, I think this is really cool. I mean, I've never seen anything like this, and I love looking at community ideas because this is, you know, it widens, it widens all of our horizons when we look at other people's designs. So that one, I don't know. If, is that combinator just to separate the network, I guess? Because its input is the same as the output. Um, cool. Sweet. I like it. Yeah, Kamuna-chan, I know you did, you did a lot of the heavy lifting on this base, and I think you did a really good job. This is cool. I haven't played vanilla in a long time, so it's kind of fun to see... To see what vanilla bases look like again so yeah for all of those on youtube watching this um we are starting an angel bobs community server and feel free to log into the discord and look in the community server channel for information on how to join because we'd love you to come in and try out angel bobs and if you are new to modded factorio this is a great time to try because you're gonna have a lot of other people there that can explain things to you so if you're a little scared of modded and you haven't quite been brave enough to try it on your own, maybe you want to try it with other people. So everyone's welcome. The server's up 24-7. I won't be on there all the time, but usually there will be someone around, at least on the Discord, if not in-game, to help you out if you want to work on some stuff on the base. So yeah, this is cool. I This is my favorite part, for sure. This looks so cool. I've never seen the squiggles. Everyone is always about straight lines, and I just think those squiggles are really cool. It reminds me of, um, I think it was, uh, what's his name? I think Troopin. Didn't Troopin do a diagonal build? for Like, he did an entire base, and everything was diagonal, and the belts were all squiggly, and it just was like this blurst monstrosity of a base. You guys should check out that video if you haven't already. Cool. Okay, well, I do think uh, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick review of where this base ended up and kind of at the same time let everyone know about the Angel Bob server. And you can also expect, hopefully soon, um, I want to do an edited video. Oh, I didn't ever look at the uranium. Um, an edited video of the Angel Bob's launch. So I'm going to record that one as well and try to edit it down because it's probably going to be hours of footage and I'm not going to release an hours long YouTube episode. So I'll have to see if I can edit that. I guess I haven't found the nuclear plant. We've got nuclear fuel. 
Where's the nuclear plant? Where you at, Mr. Nuclear? That's not it. Oh, there's also all kinds of fluid stuff we never saw either. Got some nice pipe spaghetti. Actually, that's not spaghetti. That is some nice linguine. You know, that's in, that's in straight lines there. Somewhere down left is the nuclear. That's mining. <laughs> is it? There it is. Cool. Got some combinator goodness here. I'm not even going to try to decipher that without more time. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, again, for those of you on YouTube, let me know what you think in the comments about this base and feel free to join in on our Angel Bob's playthrough.